What great words for us to sing together as we prepare for the Lord's table this morning. Uh, We take this time in our service to remember what Jesus Christ did for believers at the cross. We're going to look at a text of scripture, and if you don't have a Bible, uh, we'd love to put one in your hands. You can just slip your hand up, and some men here will walk down the aisles and put a Bible in your hands. If you don't own a Bible, uh, we would love for you to keep this as our gift to you. If you would turn in your Bibles this morning to Isaiah chapter 46, I have good news for you, and I want you to see it in God's Word. There is available freedom, freedom from guilt, freedom from the penalty of our wrongdoings, freedom from a life of slavery to sin. All of that freedom is available from a God who loves sinners. There's an amazing statement that God makes here in Isaiah 46, 13. He says, I bring near my righteousness. It is not far off. God has made available what we sinners need and could not get for ourselves. And this incredible news comes to those who agree with the bad news. There is, of course, bad news that, that precedes it. It's, it's good news that we hear this bad news. But the bad news is God's accurate assessment of the human condition. Like a cancer doctor who is ready to prescribe a life-saving treatment for the one who will say, I have cancer, can you help me? But can't help the one who doesn't say it, won't see it won't agree with the problem. Look down at verse 12 of Isaiah 46. God says, listen to me, you stubborn-minded who are far from righteousness. We just sang these words, I, I ran my hell-bound race. If God's goodness and his righteousness was over here, I, I was in a sprint the opposite direction. That's what I was capable of. There are a number of ways to be far off from God's righteousness and to be stubborn-minded. That universal human condition takes several sets of clothing. You can be morally upright in the world's standing. You can be very religious and be stubborn and far from God's righteousness. You can grow up in this church, be here every time the doors are open, and be stubborn-minded and fall far from God's righteousness. And you can run into rank, open rebellion against God. Deny that He exists. Haphazardly pursue everything that He detests. And be stubborn-minded and far from God's righteousness. All of that is bound up in self-sufficiency that says, I don't need God. I don't need the righteousness that he provides. I got life on my own. I can find fulfillment and satisfaction or I can clean up my own messes. I got this, God. And God in his initiating grace... And in his patient kindness, comes to the sinner in his stubbornness and in his far off condition and says, I will bring my righteousness near. What is this righteousness? According to Romans 1.16, this is the righteousness of God found only in the gospel of Jesus Christ, which we as believers are not ashamed of. Why? Because the righteousness that we need is not a righteousness we could conjure up. It's not a righteousness we could perfect. It's not a righteousness we were even interested in initiating. It is an alien righteousness. It is foreign to us. God will only accept that which meets his perfect standard. You and I could never provide it. And God gives it freely by his grace in the gospel of Jesus Christ. If we think about this 
phrase in Isaiah 46, we might ask, how does God bring his righteousness near? And we could fast forward seven chapters, which would take us forward 700 years from this text to God's servant, the Messiah, detailed for us in Isaiah 53, that he was a sinless substitute, that Messiah came to the earth and died in the place of sinners. Every sinner who would ever believe would have all his sins, past, present, and future, completely wiped away and in their place given a perfect righteousness that meets God's perfect standard. And Jesus Christ went to a cross 2,000 years ago and died there and said, it is finished. What was finished? The work of purchasing redemption and perfect righteousness for all who would believe in him. Friends, if you're here this morning and you are stubborn-minded and far off, you need to know God's righteousness is near and it is only available to you in Jesus Christ. And even this day, you can be free of guilt and the eternal consequences of your sin and your slavery to your own vices. Jesus will set you free. And all of us who are believers in Jesus Christ, we just think back to the song we just sung and the text of this verse in Isaiah 46. I was far off. I was stubborn-willed. I was blind. I was in rebellion. And God, you loved me first. You initiated. And you brought life where there was only death. This time of communion, this time of celebrating the Lord's table is an expression of gratitude. Jesus says, do this in remembrance of me. We, we remember what Jesus did at the cross on our behalf and we celebrate it all over again. You're about to receive a cup of juice and a little cracker. When those come to you, hold on to those. We'll take those together. In the meantime, there will be a few moments of silence. That's an opportunity for you, believer, to reflect on your own heart. Even to think about sins that you committed this morning, this week. And confess those to the Lord. Agree with what he already knows. Make plans to turn from those things if you haven't already. And then revel in the forgiveness that Jesus purchased at the infinite cost of his own blood for you, believer. If you're not a believer here this morning, um, do just let those things pass by you. They're not for you. Um, no offense. Those are for believers to remember what Jesus has already done. But if you're here and, and those things go by you, give consideration to the state of your own heart. To your eternal destiny. And how everything can change for you in a moment by placing your faith fully in Jesus Christ. Surrender to him. And he will change your life. Men, you can come forward, distribute the cup and the juice. And again, hold on to those for a few moments. Uh, pray, seek the Lord. We'll come back together and, and take those together.